The Hackpack IR turret is now better than ever. They made a bunch of improvements to make sure that you get the best experience possible. The Crunch Labs team recently announced an upgrade to the IR turret version two. And with this, we will get some new improvements to some of the concerns that they've seen from the subscribers that have been using these. The last thing they want is someone to have a bad experience, particularly with the first hackback. And they're taking the measures to alleviate that by reducing the challenges that you may be facing with your first build. Now, the four things that they changed are the breadboard, the pitch servo motor, as well as the antenna and the barrel configuration. The best thing about this is we know that the Crunch Lab Teams is committed to having a good product to give the subscribers, you and I, the best experience possible. The first question everybody is going to have is how do you tell the difference? What is the version one and what is the version two? From what we heard on the Discord, the version two has black screws while the version one has these silver screws. The first improvement that they've made is one that is not only in the IR turret, but every other build afterwards. And it is their little breadboard that they use. A breadboard is an electronics tool that allows you to connect multiple electronics pieces and test them out before you do any soldering or directly onto a printed circuit board that would be a long-term project. It's a good way to test something out by using jumper wires to connect everything you want to make sure it's working. Now the breadboard is what is used to plug in the Arduino to connect everything else from there using the jumper wires. So this will significantly increase the reliability of your circuits for all of your builds. Now this is also continuing. So all the other builds after this will contain the upgraded breadboards as well. The second upgrade they made is to the pitch servo motor. The pitch servo motor controls the IR turret barrel as far as pitching up and down to direct the angle of where you're going to fire. Now this one knows how to level itself out to zero. If the arm was twisted past that point in transit, it would try and reset to zero and actually kick down into the bottom base of the turret, either forward or backwards, and kind of get stuck there. And it was quite a problem for several people. To correct this, they put a tooth in the gearing to make sure it didn't over-rotate. So now it prevents it from over-rotating in transit, and so that way it will always level out and you won't have this problem going forward. The third upgrade is the antenna. Now the antenna could get some noise and basically start reacting without you pressing a button. It will pick up a signal from something else. So an increased quality on the antenna should resolve a lot of those issues and give you better control over your IR turret. The fourth one is more of a quality of life. The barrel on the IR turret has a magnet on the end that controls it staying on. So they've increased the magnets on those, made them more powerful so it sticks on a little bit tighter. If you move the barrel too fast, which one of the things that it would do is when it levels off the home servos code, it flattens out and it does it quickly. And I noticed that it would actually detach the barrel from the top part where it's not staying connected, which then it doesn't rotate the well. Now they've added better magnets to the barrel. They're stronger and so that they will stay attached better. The other feature on the barrel that they changed is the plastic ends where you attach the darts. They had a lot of problems with misfiring. I know I did. I got in the habit of holding them down to make sure that they didn't kick off the end the way that they were rounded off. Now, I don't know exactly how they made a change to it, but they said that it should decrease the misfiring of the darts. So that way you don't have that problem anymore. So those are the four key things that they made adjustments to on the IR turret to make sure that you have the best experience possible. If you're ready to take the next step, make sure you use the referral link in the description below. It will give you $10 off your first year on the subscription. And be sure to subscribe to my channel to give you some tips, tricks, and other hacks that I've done. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced, you may be able to get some insight or some inspiration on what you can do with the hack pack to get the most out of it.